This video is going to be a walkthrough of the different steps of the coding tool within Made Central. This goes along with the individual videos of the coding tool step-by-step -step processes and setup um, for the, all three different types of coding that is available within Made Central. So to begin, the coding setup and coding and scope setup is set under company and coding and scopes. This first page is where you'll set up some default notifications, general settings as far as default scope groups, and additional options for your internal quoting tool. Next up is setting up questions. These are, this is a good place to add in questions for just general fact finding, but also things that might affect the price. And this is where your scopes of work are found. Um, the bold grouping is the scope group and the individual scopes are hid under, are set up underneath it. These are reorganizable. Um, you just have to be sure to update the scope work order if you're reorganizing. Additionally, if you are disabling, you can disable different scope groups. And if you would like to re-enable a scope group, you can show inactive with this top button here. And your inactive scopes are visible and you can reactivate those if you'd like. Finally, the last step of, the, of this grouping is your iframes. These are the different iframes that can be placed on your website anywhere that you're able to enter HTML code. So you've got your online code. So this is your online booking tool, the testimonial co code, which is where your testimonials are, and the, the lead form. Um, so this is just a lead capture form. All of these have different previews, and um, so you can see what they look like before you put them into your own website. Within the scope group, you have the default settings for your scope group, so which um, scopes are your default scopes, which scopes are your default scopes for online, and what um, required skills are used. Additionally, you can create your testimonials, marketing text, and agreement terms. And I'll go through these in a more detail individually. This is just an overview. Re revenue and goals is set here. Um, you can set revenue and goals by hours or by revenue. And again, I'll go over these later in their own how-to. Back into this page, um, and the individual scopes is where the quoting information is set up. And this has all of your other um, setup pieces. So you've got your basic setup, which is naming it, deciding how it's going to be calculated, and um, creating a rotational option for it. Technician settings, your plan team size, your efficiency, pay type, and position, and trainee position factor. And then if this is a scope that's available online, you will also have the online quoting tab. And this is where you can customize what this looks like on the online quoting. Rates and fees. This holds your fees and rates. Um, but very straightforward on this one. Everything here is set up based off of how you like to set up. So your hourly rate, your minimum, the different ways that you charge your fees for both skip fees and lockout fees, and then how much you charge for those. Rate modifications. This is where um, all sorts of cleaning extras and other fees can be entered, and I'll go over how that's done later. Discounts, same thing as rate modifications. You can enter as many different ones as you'd like here and decide where they're available for. Frequencies, this is a really good place to set up your what frequencies are going to be available for that scope of work, whether it's a recurring frequency or just a single frequency or both. And then you can set up um, how those frequencies factor into the price. This next tab is different depending on how you're quoting. Um, it, this could either say rooms, square feet, or simplified. So I'll go over those in a different video as well individually. And then questions and factors. These are the same questions and factors that you set up in the first step over here. 
they this is where they are defined and then in this section is where they are applied so you would define the questions up here um you know picking how how you want them to affect the price or if you want them to affect the price and then on the individual scopes is where they are displayed so you would decide if they're displayed just in the office just online or both um, so you can really customize how your quoting experience looks, depending on if they called in or if they're just on your website. And once all of those are set up, you're ready to start quoting.